Welcome aboard, music lovers. Today, the country and pop time machines collide for a special crossover episode. I'm Gracie, your trusty guide through pop music golden age. And my dad is here to navigate the country music scene. Remember, you can subscribe to both channels to keep this musical journey going. In 2024, Beyonce becomes the first black female to have a number one song on the Billboard country chart. Now my brain is still trying to process this. Some say, hey, it's about time. While others say this is not a true country song and it is just a gimmick. This controversy has been going on forever and it will continue to go on for many decades in the future. We will talk more about Beyonce a little later in this episode, so please stick around. Do you like my sock hop outfit? In the 1950s, the ladies were wearing their poodle skirts and the 1950s were a unique time where musical genre lines blurred and many hits ruled both the country and pop charts. Right now, we blast back to 1956 with a song that transcended boundaries, Elvis Presley's iconic Heartbreak Hotel. Now, Heartbreak Hotel was inspired by a newspaper article about the suicide of a lonely man who jumped from a hotel window. Written by Mae Axton, Tommy Durden, with even Elvis getting in on the writing credit, it was Elvis's first number one hit. So, hit it, Elvis. Well, since my head baby left me, well, I found a new place to dwell. Well, it's down at the end of Lonely Street at Heartbreak Hotel. I'll be you so lonely, baby. Well, I'm so lonely. I'll be so lonely. I could die. Although it's always crowded, you still can find some for broken hearted lovers to cry there in the gloom and be so baby is a lonely so lonely they so lonely they could die now we step into the 1960s we still had many crossover hits in the 1960s we remember Jeannie C. Riley, Roger Miller, Skeeter Davis and many many more but we can't reflect on the 1960s without remembering Patsy Cline. While her life was short, her impact on music was incredible. Many consider Patsy one of the greatest female voices of all time and she influenced many singers for many decades. This song, written by Willie Nelson, made it to the top 10 on the pop and country charts. Here is Crazy. Crazy I'm crazy for feeling so lonely I'm crazy Crazy for feeling so blue I knew you'd love me as long as you wanted And then someday You'd leave me for somebody new Great songs were appearing on the pop and country charts in the 1970s. We got great hits from Charlie Rich, Olivia Newton-John, Billy Swan, Crystal Gale, John Denver, and so many more. Glenn Campbell had many hits in his career that was both on the pop and country charts. We love the 60s hits like Wichita Lineman and Galveston, but in 1975, he had his biggest one ever, number one on the pop and number one on the country charts. Here is a little bit of Rhinestone Cowboy.
is less common today. The 1980s were a strong decade that included songs topping the pop and country charts. Kenny Rogers, Johnny Lee, Eddie Rabbit, and Willie Nelson are some of the big names that were loved on both the pop and country charts. Country and Rock and Roll Hall of Fame member Dolly Parton had one of the biggest crossover hits of the 1980s. From the movie of the same name, here is Dolly with 9 to 5. Working 9 to 5. just love Dolly, but in the 1990s, fewer country hits were crossing over into the pop charts. A few of the bigger ones that cross over came from Lone Star and Faith Hill. But in 1998, the one and only Shania Twain was a worldwide sensation. And this song was number one on the country charts and spent many weeks at number two on the pop chart. Here it is, you're still the one. The first decade of the 2000s continued the trend of fewer country songs crossing over to the pop charts. Lady Antebellum did have a big one, but this great lady is the definition of country to pop crossover. Taylor Allison Swift learned to play guitar when she was just 12 years old and became a country singer in 2005 when she signed with Big Machine Records. In 2008, she released the album Fearless, and this hit song from that album was big on both the country and pop charts. Here is Taylor with Love Story. The second decade of the 2000s started to see a lot of pop and even hip hop artists collaborate and release jazzed up versions of original country songs. We got a big one came out in 2012 when Florida Georgia Line teamed up with rapper Nelly in a popped up version of their country hit song called Cruise. Let's take a listen. Yeah, when I first 
first saw that bikini top on her She's popping right out of the South Georgia water Thought, oh good lord, she had them long tan legs Couldn't help myself, so I walked up and said Well baby, you a song, you yeah, make me wanna roll my window down And cruise down a back row, blowing stop sign through the middle Every little farm town with you In this brand new Chevy with a lift kit But look a hell of a lot better with you up in there So baby, you a song, you yeah, make me wanna roll my window down And cruise Now we gotta go back to the 1980s to get a song by Tracy Chapman that inspired country superstar Luke Combs. Tracy Chapman had a big hit with Fast Car back in 1988. The song inspired Luke Combs to do a cover version of it and he did an excellent job. You got a fast car, it's fast enough so we can fly away. Still gotta make a decision. Be tonight, I'll live die this way. So I remember when we were driving, driving in your car on the streets of fast to feel like I was drunk. Sitting like slay out the full singer, I'm feeling like Historically, most songs that cross over into the pop charts are from the country artists that have songs so unique and sound so good, I guess, it gets the pop music world excited. But that is changing. Ed Sheeran is no stranger to Nashville. He's an incredible musician and also loves country music. He was quoted as saying, I would love to transition into country. I love the culture of it. I just love the songwriting. It's just like brilliant songs. Could we be seeing Ed Sheeran wearing a cowboy hat soon? Well, we'll see. Even Lana Del Rey, big buddy to Taylor Swift, announced that she will release a country-styled album called Lasso at an award show. Lana said this, If you can't already tell by our award winners and our performers, the music business is going country. We're going country. It's happening. And finally, what many folks are talking about and fighting about, Beyonce. Now, Beyonce is not the first non-country artist to go from pop to country and hit number one. Think back. Country legend Conway Twitty did it. He was a rock singer back then. He had a number one with this song in 1958. And we all know that he switched to country music and became a legend. Beyonce became the first black female to have a number one country song with a song that has some country music flavor. Some folks love it. Some are thinking about the Aaron Lewis song when they hear Beyonce. That ain't country. That's a natural fact. But we will let you decide if the Beyonce song is a country song. Take a listen. This ain't Texas. Take it to the flow now. Woo! Thank you, country star Beyonce. Well, we hope you enjoyed this look at some of the best country crossover hits of all time that went over to the pop charts. If you love pop music history, please check out Gracie on the Pop Music Time Machine. And if you love the great history of country music, check out my dad on the Country Music Time Machine. Until next time, this is Kevin, let's keep it country. And this is Gracie, let's keep it pop. Bye bye. bye. This ain't Texas, Ooh. ain't no hold em. Hey. So lay your cards down, 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 down. So pocket Lexus Ooh. and throw your keys up.